Hi everyone, Kirk Summers, Trinity Presbyterian Church, York Mills here with you on the second Sunday in January of 2021, um, a time when the weather about us is changing and so also are changing things in the world of politics and healthcare. It's been a, a very uh, turbulent, uh, demanding, um, in many ways shocking start to 2021. We continue to hope uh, that the vaccine will be able to get uh, promptly and well to, to those that need it in fair and good order. We continue to hope that there will be peace and calm in every land and certainly in the land to the south of us in the United States of America. Uh, today is a Sunday to hear from God's word, words about the art of gathering. Now that that title, it's it's not mine. I borrowed it from uh, Peary Parker, um, a commentator um, of r remarkable uh, capacity and interest and skill and ability. And I thank her very much for that uh, title. She she wrote a book, uh, The Art of Gathering: How We Meet and Why It Matters. The Art of Gathering: How We Meet and why it matters. What a, a wonderful thing to ponder as Trinity Presbyterian Church. What a wonderful thing to ponder here in the, the virtual world where we, we gather in this way. Uh, they say that um, a gathering, uh, Peary Parker says, and that a, that a gathering is, is three or more people. And you think, well, how's that happening, Kirk? Well, it's happening with, with myself and Michael and you, myself and Michael and Melvin and you, the three of us coming together to be with you, to gather. We're, we're Trinity Church. We're us through the World Wide Web. We, we are gathering. And, and uh, Peary Parker says there's an art to that. And in a podcast she shared with Brene Brown, and we'll, we'll give a little note of where that podcast can be found, this, this sense of, of having an art form uh, to gathering um, calls it to have an intentionality. And certainly through Ministry Moment and Trinity News and Trinity Live and all those things that we've been doing through every phone call and fax and email and traditional mail. Thank you everyone for Christmas cards. We are, we are gathering and it matters. Uh, the definition um, here comes to us. Uh, it's a conscious gathering of people coming together for a purpose. Therein lies what the art is hoping to achieve, a conscious gathering, a conscious coming uh, together, even when apart, a coming together of people for a purpose. So today we, we celebrate and we affirm and we think about gathering in the unity of the Holy Spirit and in the bond of peace. And we acknowledge here on the second Sunday of 2021 that this has been a tough thing to do for us, but we've been doing it. And as I, I shared with you in the last Trinity News, I, I hope to, to be about doing it a bit differently. I've learned so much. Thank you for your patience and your teaching, your cooperation, your kindness, as we have been about new art forms of gathering. We turn to the, the Bible verses for today. They're, they're three in number. They're all from the New Testament, one from a gospel and, and two from letters. As they come to us, hear the, the spirit of gathering, the calling to gathering, the intentionality, and therein the encouragement, people of Trinity, all together here in this way, to think about and plan for and pray for the gathering. The gathering that, that used to be kind of easier, if you will. It still took a lot of work. But we, we had routine and we had tradition and we had, had ways of coming to church home and getting things organized. Well, we have different ways now, but we still are people of Jesus who want to be together. And the encouragement from, from Parker and Brown is that we be intentional about it. And, and, and we would say intentional in 2021. Hear the intentionality here from God's word. Hear the wanting of God in Christ by the Spirit as the church for us to gather. Matthew 18 at verse 20. 
For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. Ah, wonderful. When we are together, we are together in the Lord, for the Lord, with the Lord. Ah, so good to gather Trinity Church. We've got to do it in new, fresh ways. And, and any suggestions you have, send them my way. Send them Michael's way. Send them Melvin's way. Send them to any way that is a good way to get them intentionally in art form working in 2021. There, from Matthew 18 at 20, the Lord is with us when we are with each other. And to Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. These great verbs in the Bible, let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together. Throughout the Bible, there is this wanting for us as God's people, God's children, to be together. And this, this provocation encouraged in Hebrews 10, it's another way of saying, be intentional about it. Find ways, discover ways, rekindle old ways, somehow make your gathering happen. Make your one, two, three, four and more together happen in 2021. Consider these ways. Think about them. Pray about them. Be creative. Read a book. Look at a podcast. Talk to a friend somehow. How can we continue to be one, two, three, four or more gathered together? Let us consider that Trinity so much in 2021. So much in this seemingly unending season of the virus. And why? To love one another to do good deeds for neighbor as for self, to keep the mission heart of this congregation pounding and pure, to help us continue to discover who we are in light of whose we are, that we may be all that we can be for Jesus. And that second part of, of Hebrews 10, to not therefore neglect these things, to not think that, that gathering is not a good idea. To, to not neglect making the phone call, not neglect writing the letter, not neglect offering the prayer, not neglect reaching out and gathering. And then there in that final portion of verse 25 of Hebrews 10, and to, and to do this in a manner that is a voice of encouragement, a way of uplifting. So simple here from Hebrews 10 and and yet so challenging, verses 24 and 25, to consider how to provoke, to not neglect, to encourage all that we will be together in love and be loving for good deeds, for Christ's sake. And from 1 Corinthians 14 to 26, what should be done then, my friends, when you come together? Well, we're followers of Jesus. When we come together like this on a Sunday morning in 2021, we come together, uh, each one, it says, has a hymn, a lesson, a revelation, a tongue, an interpretation. 1 Corinthians 14 at 26. What should be done then, my friends, when you come together, when you gather, when that intentionality is fulfilled? Each one has a hymn. Thank you, Michael, and the choir and the band for all the music. Where would we be without the music? It matters. It's in the Bible. It's in our hearts. It's part of our gathering. When you come together, each one has a hymn, a lesson, a, a revelation, an interpretation that we will grow in grace and knowledge, that all things be done for building up not for breaking down, but for the good of God's people, for the good of the body of Christ on earth, for the good of the church, for the good of Trinity, for the good of Toronto and Ontario and Canada and the whole family of God's children everywhere. We come together for that love and good deeds. We come together for that building up. We, we sing, we pray, we read God's word, we, we proclaim God's word. We give a virtual hug 
we offer a prayer for love and good deeds for building up. And there is an art to this. There is an intentionality. Um, thank you, Peary Parker. Thank you, Brene Brown. Thank you, Trinity Church, for working well and good on the art of gathering. In Jesus' name and for his sake. Together, even though apart. Many members, one body. Love to love. World without end. Thanks be to God for these readings from God's own most holy word. Amen. Over the weekend, Kurt shared to me an article by Priya Parker, The Art of Gathering, How We Meet, and Why It Matters. After reading the entire script, it has changed the way I think about people coming together. These few paragraphs have struck me, and I quote, I believe that everyone has the ability to gather well. You don't have to be an extrovert. In fact, some of the best gatherers I know suffer from social anxiety. You don't need to be a boss or a manager. You don't need a fancy house. The art of gathering, fortunately, does not rest on your charisma or the quality of your jokes. Gatherings crackle and flourish when real thought goes into them, when often invisible structure is baked into them, and when the host has a curiosity, willingness, and the generosity of spirit to try. Gathering whether it being traditional, in-person, or virtual, is still the conscious bringing together of people for a reason shaping the way we feel, shaping the way we think, and the way we make sense of the world. It's about group experience. We ask, what is the need in the country? What is the need in our community? And who might we bring together in order to explore those questions together? Trinity gathers in such a different format now. And we know that the sense of community and cooperation is alive, active, bonded with the gospel of Christ. We are all grateful for this. All are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live, where hands will reach beyond the wood and stone to heal, to strengthen with the prayers of faith and songs of grace. Oh,
People who love to gather with the Lord and with each other, people who love to be together. Yes, we, we are apart and we need to work hard on the art of gathering, of being together. Thank you for everyone who is doing that in and as and for Trinity Church. May we gather well somehow, somewhere, in 2021 and we give thanks for all the gatherings that we have known in our lives and know even still where we come to know therein that we belong that we are valued and precious and we have good work to do for the good news of god's love in jesus christ gathering people through the wonders of the internet let us pray. A gracious and ever-present God, all-loving and ever-near God, we thank you that you have gathered us in, that it has been, is, and always shall be your will to have us with you and with each other. We thank you for, for Trinity Church. We thank you for the goodness that we know in this civilized land called to be Canada. May that goodness that embraces us be the same goodness we want to embrace others as with open heart we reach out we care and we share and we gather as one children all of your great will bless us in the year ahead O oh god keep us alert to who we are and who we can be for you we are so very aware that there is concern in the land, that there is a virus which has stricken so many that rates are higher than ever before. Hospitalizations are greater than known in times past. And there are more deaths. We pray for the vaccines that we have in our midst, that they will continue be, to be distributed well. Thank you for all involved in the, the distribution and in the discovery. Be with each and every one of us, O oh God, is together. Gathering as a human family, we seek to be all that you want us to be, all that you have created us to be. As Canadians, we pray for the well-being of this country and all who, who are entrusted with leadership of it, even as we pray for the well-being of neighboring countries. And especially here on the second Sunday of 2021, we pray for the United States of America. To you, holy and loving God, we bring these prayers, knowing that we can pray to you at any time and in any way. And we do, for family and for friend. 
We, we lift up to you, the Reverend Gordon Beaton, Minister Emeritus of uh, Trinity York Mills, upon the death of his uh, dear daughter Tanya in Calgary. Be with Gordon and the family in Lethbridge, in Western Canada, here, there, and everywhere. Dear friends to us, beacons of things good and acceptable in your sight, thank you for the life of Tanya and for her love. We are so much wanting, dear God, to be those who are doing as you would wish. Keep us grounded in the word, keep us listening and learning, and keep us mindful of the art of gathering together, all for love's sake. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hi, Trinity. This year, our Congregational Christmas Project was supporting the Winnipeg Inner Same Mission. I want to start out by thanking everyone for donating to this project and helping to support this important mission of the Presbyterian Church in Canada. Together, we raised $10,100 to help support their programming. It has been an honour to share this Christmas project with you. Trinity supported me in the summer of 2019 when I went on a PCC Truth and Reconciliation Mission trip to visit Wycombe. My experience meeting the people of Place of Hope and the many programs of the Winnipeg Interstate Mission was life-changing. While the history of residential schools is grim, the future is hopeful. Programs like Wycombe are changing lives and creating loving connections between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Canadians. They also send the message that Presbyterians across Canada care about our Indigenous brothers and sisters and are ready to undo generations of hurt. Together, we are forging a new way forward. The support we are providing through this project will change lives. Thank you. I wanted to share with you today that this is the last ministry moment from the second line of Perth, as Nancy and I will be heading to Stratford, Ontario for our new home um, on January 12th. It's been a joy to bring you ministry moment uh, from here, uh, my home, to your home, and I look forward as this uh, season of the virus continues to continue to come to you in Jesus' name, uh, together though apart. And now, may the love of God and the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the companionship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with each one of you and all of God's people this day and even forevermore. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his face to shine on you. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord lift up his face to shine on you.